Okay guys, uh, welcome. It's Yvonne Radley here from um, Big Knit Media. So, we are going to talk today about lists and how to use lists on Twitter. This can really help you. So this is my homepage. Um, and if we go to the side, the little wheel here, you can click down and you can see in here you've got edit profile direct messages, lists, which is what we're going to work with, help, keyboard shortcuts, settings, and sign out. So it's the list that we want to go for, okay? Now you can keep your lists public or private. I keep most of mine private, um, mainly because I don't want people nicking <laughs> all my contacts. Um, so there we go, I keep them private. Um, I've got quite a few lists. And I mean, this one, I'm growing it now. So, um, you know, it's it's a thing that is evolving all the time. So I've got news, which um, is, let's have a look, there's 14 members in there. Um, I've got things like Daily Express, Channel 4 News, Independent, ITV News, Sky News Desk. This just keeps me up to date with what people are talking about and if anybody is talking about um, a health story, okay? You can do the same so that you could check it just once a day, maybe in the morning to see if there's any health um, stories around. Over here I've got mentors, that's full of people that I follow um, to see what they're talking about. Olympics is kind of old now, I need to get rid of that one. I also follow other instructors. Now a lot of the guys in here are my clients. So let's open this one up, I've got 32 people in here. So Paul Mort right at the top there. Um, and what I do, I look through and if there's anything really interesting I'll retweet it for them so they're promoted. Um, or sometimes I'll favourite it, uh, but this one's really good. Look, Paul Mort, Lean Greens in Fighters Only Mag this month. So I'm going to retweet that to all of my friends. Uh, let's retweet that. And I'm going to make it a favourite as well. Um, Alice is asking for people for their favourite thing to do at 5.01pm on Friday. I would imagine most people are doing it, drinking wine and sitting in the garden while it's lovely and sunny. Um... Some of them obviously are the kind of thing, you know, they're kind of personal to clients like Mark Rainsford's here, you know, there are 1,440 minutes in a day, everyone has the same, it's what you do with those minutes on a regular basis. So that's kind of talking to his clients, so I wouldn't necessarily um, forward that on, but earlier in the week he had his um, daily newsletter that went out and I did forward that. Um... People asking for, so I mean, you can see, you know, people are looking for lots of different things. So basically, oh look, Lisa's got an article in the Oxford Mail today. That's amazing. So I'm going to retweet that. And she's not one of my clients, but I follow her because she's really good on Facebook, but Twitter. And this is another thing you can put um, people in there that you know you think are, are doing the job well and, and watch what they're doing, basically. Okay, so that is um, Twitter instructors, another of my lists. Um, I also have reporters. Um, I follow certain magazines so I can see what they're talking about. I follow local media. Um, I follow the fitness media. Let's have a look at fitness media. So on this one, um, I can see instantly what people are um, kind of talking about. So Zest. Um, oh, they're interested in working on an event that's happening. Uh, they're talking about hay fever. Um, Health Magazine's talking about breakfast ingredients loaded with omega-3s. Um, some of them are reporters. I follow things as well, like The Lancet. It's for the medical industry. So you could do the same. You could follow health magazines. And basically, because Twitter is so vast, um, it just means that in a morning when I get up, I can have a little look down, see what's happening in the world, um, and they're all in one place. So you don't have to trawl through thousands of uh, Twitter feeds, basically. So I'll show you how to um, create a Twitter list. Um, let me think who I'm not following at the moment. Let's try Andrew Crawford, the lovely Andrew Crawford. I'm not sure if I'm following him or not actually. Ah, oh, there he is. That's his um, tax for fitness one. So here's Andrew and 
if I go down, you see where it says add or remove from list. I want to add him to a list. And I haven't got him. So I'm going to put him in instructors. Even though this is like his tax um, little website here. Um, and I will, I won't put him in local media. I'm just going to keep him in instructors, okay? And create list. Oh no, I don't want to create a list. Ignore that. That's what, right. So that is what you want to do if you want to create a list. Um, so actually, I'm going to create a new list. And I'm going to call it um, Fitness Specialist Taxman. Um, and I'm going to make it private. If you make it public, anyone can follow your list. So in there is fitness specialist. So just by ticking, actually, um, it does add them. So you don't have to create a new list at that point. So just by ticking and then close. And then if we go back to lists, let's hope this works. Hey, <laughs> fitness specialist, tax man. And he should also be in the instructors because um, I added him to that one as well. So you can add him to as many as you want. He is in there because it's gone up to 33. Okay, that's it, guys. Um, I'll speak to you soon. Hope you found that useful. Uh, it's definitely a tool that I find very useful, and it saves you hours of uh, trawling around, basically, so you don't have to do that anymore. Um, have a good weekend. See you soon.